Hello, my name is Aaron Lauer, and I'm a senior solutions engineer here at PurePort. Today, we're going to use the PurePort console to build a, an AWS Direct Connect and connect it to a site VPN connection using BGP. To get started, we're going to create a network in the PurePort console. And we're just going to give it a simple name for this setup here. And at this time, we're deploying our control plane for this network. And each network is a completely isolated control plane with isolated network connections. A customer or a user can have multiple networks, and all of them are completely isolated and independent from each other. To get started, we're going to choose our AWS Direct Connect here. And the cloud region is one of our supported AWS regions. We're going to pick USS West 1. Automatically chosen is the PurePort location of San Jose. We're going to pick a 50 megabit connection, and this will be an H, uh, HA connection um, per AWS's best practices. You could always uncheck this to disable HA, but our recommendation is you keep it enabled. At this point, we need our AWS account ID, and I'll get this from here and paste this in. We're going to use the default ASN number. And we can create, uh, choose our network. Inside that, uh, we're not going to be using that at this time. And we're going to choose the default name given to it at this time. At this point, we're roll, uh, deploying that direct connect into the AWS account and spinning up the, the cloud routers necessary to launch this connection. Now, if we go into our AWS console and hit refresh, we can see that our two connections here that we created are actually pending acceptance. At this point, I have to accept this hosted exported connection so that we can begin using it in AWS. And that'll take a couple minutes for AWS to, uh, to accept that uh, approval on that. While that's going on, what we're going to do is we're going to create another connection. This is going to be a site IPsec VPN connection. And again, we're just going to pick this in the San Jose location, but you could use any of our locations and traverse our backbone uh, to access that uh, VPC or that AWS VPC. I'm going to choose 50 megabits. We're going to put in our primary and secondary IP addresses for our site router. If you only have one, you could put in the same IP address. In here, we're gonna pick the ASN for this. This needs to be in the private ASN space, so we're gonna pick 65,000. You can either choose to enable a BGP password or not. We're gonna to choose to enable it, and PurePort will automatically generate one for us. We don't need NAT. We're going to pick the default um, uh, IP configuration on this, and we're going to pick V2, um, some sensible uh, uh, AES encryption methods here. Choose the default name, add the connection, and the PurePort is uh, launching the uh, VPN endpoints for this. And while that's going on, we can go and take a look at our AWS connections here. And they're actually available and fully ready to use. At this point, you can create private virtual interfaces or at this time, and then associate those virtual interfaces to a Direct Connect Gateway or VGWs, depending on your uh, topology that you've built out in AWS. As you can see at this point, we now have a fully operational Direct Connect, and we have a fully operational VPN connection that you could take this information in the console and plug it into your site, uh, your firewall, or your router, or your VPN appliance on your physical site, and connect directly into PurePort. And from here, you can expand your network, add multiple cloud providers, multiple sites all across our national network. Thank you.